way if the ministry conducted an adequate capacity building and public participation on the new financial inclusion platform with regard to changes made in disbursement and monthly recoveries based on the newly agreed interest rate of the fund. Number three, clarify whether the introduction of Hustler Fund has affected the Women Enterprise Fund. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Aisha. Uh, Honorable Speaker, thank you for giving me this opportunity. And uh, before I go to the substantive question by Honorable Member, um, allow me to give a brief uh, uh, background on the Women Enterprise Fund. How many minutes? You know, this is question time. Yeah, like uh, three minutes. Okay, go ahead. Uh, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, Women Enterprise Fund is a semi-autonomous government agency in the Ministry of Gender, Culture, the Arts and Heritage, committed to provision of accessible and affordable credit and business development services to support women start and or expand their businesses for wealth and employment creation. The fund was established through a legal notice, number 147 of 007, as a Vision 2030 flagship project and a social pillar that seeks to make fundamental changes in four critical areas, namely opportunities, empowerment, capabilities, and vulnerabilities. The rationale, Mr. Speaker, is to address the exclusion of women from economic participation through provision of uh, subsidized uh, credit for enterprise development as affirmative action intervention that promotes the first and fifth sustainable development goals on poverty radication, gender equality, and uh, women empowerment. Mr. Speaker, the major challenges under the manual business model, one, manual loan application process resulting to lengthy uh, approval process of 45 days for a loan to be approved, lengthy loan tenure thus inhibiting the fund from revolving the funds many times and uh, going straight to the question Mr. Speaker the digitization of the fund product is premised on the government call to ensure all government services are available online. The fund undertook capacity building in various counties and engaged stakeholders through media, Huduma Mashinani, Chief Barazas, county sensitization forums, and robust social media engagement. The fund has also facilitated public engagement in various regions as enlisted below. This is um, Mombasa, Baringo, Kajiado, Machakos, Nairobi, Kisumu, Kiamu, Siaya, and, and uh, uh, Bomet. So the fund undertook a three-month pilot uh, phase one in July 2023 to 30th uh, September 2023. During this period, Kenya shillings 941 million, 901,505 was distributed to 18,955 women groups. Out of the dispersed amount, we have collected Kenya shillings 257 million, 464,445. Uh, 
This translates to repayment of rate of 27%, which accumulatively savings to over Kenya shillings 47 million 95,075. From the pilot phase, the fund has uh, reviewed the lending business role, rules to allow flexibility in loan limits, repayment period, and onboarding of the borrowers with good repayment history under the old manual system. Um, we project to disburse 4.1 billion in 2022 and 2023-2024 uh, financial year, Mr. Speaker. And the other question? Huh? Honorable Member and Mr. Speaker, the second question, since inception of NGAF in... Tw uh, no, no, no. It's not the one. This is WEF. What is the question? Okay. So, yeah, she has asked all of them. Mr. Speaker, she has asked all of them, all the questions, the two on WEF. Yeah, so I'm answering there. This is the third one. Where's the second one? Yeah, so I'm doing the last one. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker. Uh, Honorable Speaker, Honorable Member, WEF has a unique preposition since its target 100% women constitu uh, constituted groups. Uh, these are the affirmative action groups. Beside having an existing client database ready for onboarding, the fund also offers a competitive interest rate of 6% per annum on a reducing balance compared to Hustler Fund, rate of 8% per annum on a reducing balance. However, the fund is in process of undertaking a survey to determine the effect of Hustler Fund on WEF operations. I thank you, Mr. Speaker. Wangari, if you are satisfied, you don't have to ask any supplementary. Give Wangari the mic. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I will clarify some very few issues. Number one, initially, WEF didn't have an interest. And now the introduction of 6%, what has that done to the loan recovery? Considering, like in my constituency, Mr. Speaker, it was 98% countrywide. What is the recovery rate? Second, the existing customers, some were able to get 750,000 having grown through the model, yet they have to revert back to 50,000. What are you going to do with the existing customers that have grown their credit worthiness? And finally, Mr. Speaker, when will the lending resume? Will it be manual or digital? And can the CS confirm if the digital platform or wealth can be able to offer LPO financing and CABS certification as it used to do to women before? Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Minister. Uh, the 6%. Six, six thank you, Honorable Speaker and Honorable Member. Uh, honorable Member, the funds. You don't address the Honorable uh, sorry. Member, you address the Speaker. <laughs> sorry. Sorry, sorry. So, Mr. Speaker, these funds need to sustain itself without uh, uh, depending on the exchequer. Hence the reason of uh, having the 6% uh, for that particular purpose. See, how many questions have you asked? You are done? Yes, Mr. Speaker. How many? 